Hello. Oh, I'm getting too much sun exposure right now. But anyways, we'll still work with it. So it's November 30th, which means it's the last day of fall. And tomorrow is the start of winter. I say winter because it's felt like winter, honestly, for the past two, three weeks. There was no fall this year. There was probably two weeks of fall and then it went bye-bye. Um, from June, from May to maybe mid-October, we had summer. So it was hot and humid and horrible. And then we had winter came and then winter left again. And then we had two weeks of fall and the leaves decided to just all change color quickly and then die with the rains. So now we're upon, winter is upon us basically. So you need tips to survive. And if this is your first, first winter in Japan and you're coming for a, from a country like mine in the Caribbean that has no winter, we have neither summer nor winter, neither autumn nor spring. We have instead the days when the rain beats like bullets on the roofs. That's a, that's a poem that only Jamaicans will know. <laughs> so sorry to sidetrack, but if you're coming from a hot country, you need to prepare yourself for winter and prepare yourself properly because that's important or you'll keep, or you'll get, find yourself freezing to death, getting sick all the time. Even though, yes, I am sick right now. But that's for a completely different reason, not because I'm freezing in my apartment. But I hope these tips help anyone who just needs to know how to live through winter here. And even if you're from a country that has different seasons, so you're used to snow and you're used to winter, it's kind of different here in Japan because in Japan, the apartments are built in a sustainable way where, uh, eco-friendly eco way where in the summer, they try to keep make the, the apartments built in a way where you don't need to use too much energy to cool it. You still need to use energy in the aircon because no matter what you try to do, Japan is hot and humid and horrible in the summer and I hate the summer. But anyways, that's what they try to do with how they build their apartments so they don't insulate your apartment. You don't have central heating in apartments in Japan. So your apartment is gonna get very, very, very cold. And what Japanese do is they buy their kotatsu, which is a little table, and they put a blanket over that, and they live under the kotatsu for three months of winter and eat oranges. But I don't have a kotatsu because my apartment is too small, and it just didn't make sense to get one. So these are tips for if you don't have a kotatsu, okay? How to survive. Now, first things first, let's start with clothes, which isn't really how to survive in your apartment, but just in general. Here I have on a lovely sweater. But under my sweater is another sweater. And under that, oh no, my skin. But um, you really have to wear lots of layers, but not too many layers that you can't take off. So even though I have two layers of undershirt or some, 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 a lot of stores sell this thing called heat tech, like Uniqlo and GU. Heat tech is, are like materials that keep you warm under sweaters. I find they're not as different as just wearing another cotton sweater on there but whatever marketing um so even though you have those two layers it's still cold so then you have to put on a jacket but make sure that you don't wear too many layers because you're going to have to keep taking putting on and off those layers because for example when i go i have all these layers jacket scarf scarf head hat everything but then when i go on a train where it's extremely hot or in a restaurant where it's extremely hot i have to take off all those layers so make sure you don't layer too much to the point where you can't take off one layer when you switch temperatures because once you go inside they make sure to turn up the uh, heat for you in there so you'll get hot and sweaty very quickly so remember that with clothes if you are want suggestions as to where to buy clothes Uniqlo is a great place there's Uniqlo's all over Japan um, and this is cheap clothes if you want expensive clothes you can go anywhere but if you want cheap clothes like me Uniqlo, GU has some good stuff, but my favorite store right now is Shimemura. I have a very big Shimemura near me in my town, so I just go there and get my stuff easily. Uh, they have sweaters, boots, hats, bags, everything, um, stuff for the house, everything. So I love Shimemura. This is not a paid video, by the way. I just really like Shimemura. And you can go to other stores, but just get sweaters, you know, comfortable sweaters. Um, don't try and keep up with 
the Japanese who dress very cute and look amazing in their little outfits and you know coordinated I I can't do that because I'd still feel very cold um, some of my teachers are still wearing skirts and I'd love to wear skirts right now but my wuha would get very very cold so no skirts for me <laughs> but don't try and keep up with them I, I would suggest that you dress warm instead of fashionable because <laughs> this is this is very boring but it's warm and I'm happy <laughs> so try try your best and another thing is um as you can see I'm gonna wear this throughout the entire video these are my Daiso air muffs that I bought for only 200 yen very cute but you would not see another adult riding around in them but this is very cute and I'm gonna wear them and I, I don't care because they keep my ears warm and when you're riding your bicycle at night you need to cover your ears you need to cover your head you need to do all these important things so don't try and dress cute or fashionable dress warm <laughs> that's my tip number one so as I said go and get warm clothes at all these stores now the other thing jacket winter jacket you're going to need a good winter jacket you can get several if you want I have a winter coat I bought in the US which is just a standard wool thick coat but when I came here I needed a winter jacket one of those down fleece one not fleece but down jackets like the bubble jackets one second so I went and got this now I thought about buying it first hand at say like Uniqlo Uniqlo sells a bunch of them but that would have cost like 10,000 yen up and I was like mm, maybe not but then I went to the second hand store book off plus book off plus is in Osaka in Namba but I think they have them all over the place or other second hand stores and I got this really nice Uniqlo jacket for only 1,500 yen so it's second hand someone else used to wear it but do I care no I don't care and it's huge and it's nice so this is my winter jacket which I will wear when the time gets very very cold but for now when it's not too cold I just have a Uniqlo sweat jacket thing that works pretty well so you don't have to buy First hand jackets, you can go and find a Uniqlo, not a Uniqlo, a book off or a mode off. I think in Tokyo area they're called mode offs and buy second hand clothes. That's my recommendation if you want to save money. Because if you just got here, you're probably on a budget. But anyways, right, so I think that's it for clothes basically. Let's go to how to keep yourself warm in your apartment, you know? So you don't freeze to death in the middle of the night. So as you can see behind me, I have my blanket and my comforter, and I'll give you a closer look at them. One second. So this is my comforter. Um, it's too big. I went and made a mistake of getting the very big one. This is for like two people. You, if you don't have a boyfriend like me and you're single, you don't need a big one. <laughs> so I bought this on Amazon, and it's thick. And I bought the cover, however, at Shimamura. You, it's best to get a cover for your comforter so you can get this dirty and not the comforter because washing the comforter is near impossible so remember to get a cover for your comforter uh, to protect it the comforter from getting dirty right so get one of those on Amazon I got this for 8,000 yen but like I said I didn't need a two-person one I could have just gotten one person one for 4,000 yen I also got this lovely fleece blanket for fall or early winter when it's not too cold. Um, so I usually double up in the winter. This I think only costs 2,000 yen on Amazon again, Amazon JP. And you have to remember in the winter when you have these many layers, I find I sweat a lot at night. Ugh, gross. So you have to make sure that when you wake up in the morning you fan your futon which is what I'm doing now my futons are outside getting some Sun let me show you yeah so I just have my futons hanging out and and I said this in my how to clean your apartment video also the another part of the, the bedding and I said this in my a couple of videos I keep mentioning to please fan your futon it's very important just just do it um because you're gonna sweat and you need to dry out that sweat or you'll get mildew 
which is gross, but whatever. And then we'll come over here. My apartment is messy. Tissue because I have a cold. Um, this is my heater. As you can see, it's on now. Very important. I own, This only costs about, I think, 4,000 yen? About 4,000 yen on Amazon JP again. So you can get an idea of the size. It keeps me warm. It keeps this whole room warm. It's great in the mornings when I take a shower. I quickly rush back in here and stand in here to get ready. So that's preventing me from getting sick, I think. And also, here's my hand cream. I noticed my hands. Oh, I wonder if I can show you. My hands, they were they started to strip into the point where this part was bleeding. And it was because I wasn't moisturizing my hands. So I got this medicated one. I only bought it because it said medicated. And it does a great job, actually. So I would suggest this after you wash dishes. Well, now I use gloves to wash dishes, but even if you just wash your hands or before you go to bed, use this to make sure they don't get, I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it winter scratch because my hands are bleeding. And then also for your skin, I love Nivea. I love this cream. It's so thick and nice. And you just, I use this for my legs and for my body. Oh, look how great that is. Oh, lovely. So that keeps me moisturized and stops winter itch. Now, winter itch is what I would describe as your body just starts to itch because it gets so dry in the winter. So dry. So it's important to moisturize. Um, don't buy this. This is okay in the summer, but it's crap in winter. You need something thicker like Nivea to keep your body moisturized so it doesn't itch and scratch because it's so dry. I said a heater. A heater will be your best friend in the winter. And this saves more money than turning on the air condition. And also, instead of just trying to heat the room like with an air con, it heats you. So also, when I wash my hair, I stand, it, I sit in front of that to try and dry it because I don't have a dryer yet. So when I'm trying to dry my hair, so I don't get sick. Even though I'm sick now, but that's for a completely different reason. Speaking of the reason why I'm sick. In the nights when I'm riding my bicycle, the cold air, it, it really, it makes me cry, it makes me cough, so I get, I get colds very easily. Now what I suggest for that is, and, and a runny nose, constant runny nose, what I suggest is you go to Daiso and you buy these little handkerchiefs, they're very cute, we call them rags in Jamaica, and you just always walk with a pair of these in case you just get one very dirty one day. And they're softer on the nose than tissue. Because right now my tissue, my nose is completely red from blowing my nose with tissue. Um, so you get one of these and so while you're bike riding, if you start to BMS, you just go boop, boop, boop. So they're great. And also I mentioned my hair. Now, as you can see, I have dreadlocks. So if you have natural hair in the winter, scarves are very bad. Now, let me go backtrack and go to scarves. Now, if you have one of these scarves, oh, they're cute. They're cute for like fall and it's not fall now, but this is not going to keep you cold, warm in winter time. No, get rid of this and get you a tablecloth scarf. That's what me and my friends call them. They're these huge scarves that Japanese people wear and basically they just wrap it around them 10 million times and tie it like that. <laughs> But it works. You stay very warm. It kind of insulates the body from the neck down. So I bought these, but they're terrible on my hair. Like this material. Can you see the material? It gets all over my hair. So my hair is full of fuzz right now, but it's a necessary evil. And to keep my hair moisturized, I use a lot of hair oil from home. You're not going to find this in Japan. You're not going to find good hair oil for black people here. In Japan so bring your own from home make sure you bring your own from home um, or have some sent to you this is what I use but this is only found in Trinidad and Jamaica basically so I when I wash my hair I you know oil it with this And you know, lastly no matter what you try to do you're gonna get sick like I am now but to better protect yourself especially from the flu because it's flu season you can wear masks now don't be afraid don't be ashamed to wear masks i love wearing face masks they protect you especially when you go to crowded cities like osaka and people are just gross there and don't cover their mouths and cough wear your mask to protect yourself also 
take your vitamins. Mommy says I should eat this cod liver oil. So I'm going to take that to try and stay well. And luckily I live in Wakayama, which is home of Mandarin orange population in Japan. So I get oranges all the time. I'm so lucky. So I, I get vitamin C. So when I get a cold, I recover quickly. But just protect yourself and try and stay warm. You can make it to spring. And spring is lovely here, Sakura. So just try and survive through the winter. And I hope the tips helped. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me. All right? So till next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.